we can also use interactions to create a different type of hover effect. In this example, we want more than one action to happen at the same time. We want the blue line to go under the link that we hover over. And at the same time, we want the link to move up a little bit. So we're going to select the symbol, go to prototype and create an interaction. Interactions are simple. They are different states that are connected together. In this interaction editor, we're going to create three states. One for when the blue line is under the first link, another one for when the blue line is under the second link, and a third state for when the blue line is under the last link. As you can see, the first state is already done. Now we can go to the second state and move the blue line under the second link to create a second state. Let's lower this a little bit and raise this. And now the third state. I'm using the arrows to move it to the right. Here we go. And then I lower these two pixels and raise these two pixels. And there we have it. We have three different states. All we have to do now is connect them. We're going to connect each navigation link to a state where it has a blue line under it. For example, the first one is already done. We're going to select the about link and connect it to where it has a blue line under it. We're going to choose on mouse enter because we want it to be a hover. Then we're going to select the third one and connect it to where it has the blue line under it. We're going to select mouse enter because we want it to be a hover. Now repeat the same thing for the next two states. And that's it. Now we can go here and click run. And we can see how the blue line moves and the links move up and down accordingly.